divers like Renekton and Kha'Zix. Yeah, I think you pretty much summed it up there, Crumbs. Uh, what do you think about the Renekton pick on the side for Khan? It's all about the early game. The the anime one? Yeah, I did. That was amazing. Yeah, it was I actually really good. cried. Did you? Yeah, it was beautiful. I was close. There was there was a couple oh, of times. Oh, I, I did it on I, purpose. I like just let go and enjoy you it. Just, just like let this go. dive. Let helper might just have to let go and enjoy it. Although this is a really good setup what he's trying to do, but really nice patience out of Longju. The leap in and Khan does not go down. First blood over. Solo, or at least use the pressure to rotate somewhere else. And they're using that for mid lane oh, in the five man Look at drum. this. Five members into the mid lane. Septed, you're surrounded. I hope you have some kind of escape plan. He's going actually towards the bottom right, and he will get out. The teleport comes on in from Helper, and all of a sudden, Longju are the ones that are on the escape. Cataclysm is going to be used with the Shockwave. Good flash there by Prey to get out of harm's way. It doesn't look like Longju wants to get this, but a really nice hit of corruption there onto Prey, and the follow-up there by Duel will net him a kill. The follow-up bot lane ward, that, that ward, Ooh. here he goes, it's at the try. Okay, coming in on the try brush, in comes Helper from behind, Septed trying to get on in here, Cuz will take the blue, the teleport from Khan is a little bit late, Gorilla locked up, and the nice chain of corruption, Ooh. look at that kick straight into Ella from Malrong. Cuz getting extremely low, but the damage is turning back. Double kill now for Duel. He's somehow still alive. But now the big shockwave onto BDD. He's still very, very healthy, but so is Septon. The flash forward! Take this fight into his hands. Now it's Septon against BDD. Who's going to win? Septon with that red buff does We're slow. We're not used, so it just shows the commitment that it takes for the time Kench to go down. Okay, we got the two dual lanes coming in here. BDD going to make it an unfair fight, but Helper looking to even it up. 3v3 and the teleport coming on in. Make that 4v3 and the trade here in the very, very, it looks like Cuz has found Septic. Can Septic trade it back? No is the answer. Cuz with his X-Drinker will have enough survivability to take him. Now on the chase for a Lee Sin. We've seen this go wrong many times. Trying to flash for the stun and he just ward hops away. Will they re-engage here onto Khan? There's the kick into Duel. Khan though will be stunned up by those concussive blows. He is going man mode, but he can't quite get enough damage. Although he does get Duel really. They just take Baron and they're not going to hesitate. They're just going for this. There's no vision. Double control wards. Ella is slowly making his way in. And finally they see, but there is the Weaver's Wall. Going to lock out everyone and knock Ella into the pit all alone. There is going to be him jumping over the wall, though, to safety. He has to use his flash, but again... They can count for in the next couple of fights. The Weaver as well will block a couple of members. But still, just kind of hurting them in. Shockwave onto Summoner List BDD, but stepping on a trap is Septed. Going on in his con and jumping in his cuz at the same time. Big Cataclysm, but just to save the rest of his team, does help her. So they push, retreat with five seconds till the Baron spawns, and voila. Okay, they're trying to go 2v1 here onto Khan, and they might be able to get this with the Cataclysm. It looks like they will. So a small victory here for Every. Seem to base, he's going to have not enough time to get back into the map. Now they're looking for another one. Okay, trying to chunk them out once again. Septed getting lower and lower on mana. There's the Chain of Corruption onto Tom Kent. They make it work. The Cataclysm onto Prey on the left side. But at the same time, on the back foot, Malrong, he goes down to Cousin Khan, the two-man assassin crew. And oh boy, eating way too much damage as Ella in the front. Khan and Cuz looking for more assassinations. Duel by himself cannot take off Prey and BDD. And there's going to be the double kill and the ace for Longju. And the Khan and Cuz show continues taking out Malrang from the start and then collapsing onto the back line and the remaining members of Ever-8 who had taken down Gorilla. Their commitment to taking down Tom Kench is uncanny. I've never seen somebody just go for Tom Kench so damn much. The Devourer has a cooldown, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, maybe they have to mix up their strategy going into game two, but that's going to be a pretty one-sided victory here for Longju in game number one. Just great team fighting overall. I love the decision to flash onto Oriana the second she's isolated. Kha'Zix jumps in right away. And even though difficult or near impossible for other players. Yeah, I'm just thinking about the feel of Gragas into this team of Ever-8. I like it against the Tom Kench if he can land. I do see two members. It looks like they've kind of scouted him out here. 
And immediate repel, and he's going on to Cuz, but Galio's right behind. He's gonna try to get that flash taunt. There it is, first blood going over to the Elise, but this is going to be two kills going over to Longju. Nice rotation here by Longju. Disaster forever. Do still have an opportunity to force this in. The Ignite onto Duel. Gorilla tanking that turret for now. The teleport coming on in. Cuz going for the kill, but immediately gobbled up by the Tom Kent. And it looks like only Maorong is going to go down in the fight, but a big opportunity for Long. The advantages remain in the bottom side from Longju, so he's just catering to that. He's playing a bit of a supportive Kha'Zix and trusting the base values later on. And now the reward is that Herald. Yeah, they get the Heralds. Nice cocoon there from Malrong, but I think Ella is still going to go down here. Nice hook for the follow-up, and Gorilla, the bloodthirsty support. He's oh, straight, so he can just run away from this. But the collapse onto BDD, who does flash. Trying to come in here with the taunt, but look at this. Helper all the way up in the front. Really nice taunt to make sure he cannot flag and drag. Meanwhile, Malrong all alone, and the rest of Ever8 on the run. Just sitting back, trying to farm up. Baron isn't for about four minutes. They're looking for picks. Nice arrow there from Prey. That's going to be a kill on Decepted. And good follow-up by Cuz coming in there, believing in his AD carry. What? Double tier twos. Helper's going in. A nice combo onto all four members. But again, he's not tanky enough. Heroic entrance. And oh, the follow-up hook here on the duel. Do they have the damage to take him out? That volley just barely not enough. They do take out the frog, though. Lots of low members. Looks like Malrong is going to trade back one kill, go for the repel, double kill, and a flash away. So Malrong beginning to style a little bit with his mechanics, but just trading back a little bit. Uh, ben, close call, but now they don't have arrow to turn, so they'll have to think of a creative way. Well, this is one way to do it. Poor duel, man. He is going up against the world. Accepted, and everyone caught it. The Cataclysm helper playing for Team Longju tonight. Going to net them three kills, <laughs> and that should be the the biggest green light to start making a play around Baron. So, ever don't hesitate to face check and immediately pay. Would you like those in? Uh, <laughs> He's <laughs> auto attacking the, the Baron, taking a little. Uh, one of the bottom tier teams is not the hardest thing to do, but stacking those stats. Oh, he's going on to Prey here, who just flashes out, and has Galley on the back foot, follows up with the hook. Helper, you're not helping anything this game, man. Big cast onto Duel. Looks like the Chain of Corruption actually keeps Cuz out of Accepted, trying desperately. Just give me one kill, please. I just want one. It's not going to happen. No gifts for them. Just the gift of salvation by defeat. <laughs> the gift of the early ride yeah. home. Oh, he gets hooked. <laughs> okay, that's going to be the near ace as Malrong decides it's better for me to just wait in the pond. That's going to be the easy early 2-0 victory from Longju. Ah, just obliteration there. Mega kill. What, what a match to have on Prey's fifth anniversary.